Hello and welcome back to episode 55 of Uncut. Now a lot has happened on the channel recently with the release of episode 0 of Shadow Empire, but Uncut is still going and it still will keep going consistently um, and we'll start picking up more steam as Shadow Empire starts to not need as much work from me. Either way, I do implore you guys, if you haven't already, go check out episode 0, go check out the prologue and go join the Discord and you too can get involved. But, where are we in the Federalist Republic currently? Well, we just managed to defeat enemy forces around the jump point leading in to V1581 Signy, and uh, we are now consolidating the ships that we had managed to capture. We managed to capture, I believe, four vessels, uh, and uh, we have secured this region. We have enemy ground force signatures over on the colony of the second planet, and we also know that they probably have forces incoming through Beta Pupus. So in my opinion, the next things that we need to do now is to reconsolidate our efforts here. Bring our fleet together, make sure we have the ammunition, the supplies, and everything else that we all specifically need if we are to do well. Um, so yeah, uh, let us move uh, to do that. Uh, I'm going to first off, let's have a look at the fifth fleet. So fifth fleet right here. Uh, we got a lot of stuff scattered around um, over here. Um, and I'm going to, uh, we're going to need to start to, well, load up uh, ground forces uh, or the boarding platoons that were on ship. Um, yeah, so we have two boarding platoons there. I'm going to need to get both of them to be loaded up. Once loaded up, we're going to have them go and land on their assigned motherships. Uh, and then once landed, they'll be hung hunky dory. We need to get the fifth interceptors and the you know, the fifth interceptors, uh, fifth interceptors, the Growler, the 14th Strike Squadrons, and where are the Torpedo Squadrons? Kept in Star System. They should be in through here. Land on assigned mothership. Uh, just make sure. Yeah, we have first Torpedo Squadron who needs to actually land. Um, hmm, why are they all. Oh, I know why, because, yeah, that makes sense. So, 14 Strike Squadron, you are 36 out of our block 2s. We need you to uh, be split up again, but for now, I'm just going to land you onto the fleet as a single subfleet. And then for the Growler, we have a single Growler who... Well, yeah, these two Growlers who need to be brought through here. So, you need to go land on the side Mothership. You need to go through the jump point and then land on the side Mothership. Uh, and are there anything else that we need to land or move? Not that I can see. What about Captain Star? Let's have a look at over Captain Star. Uh, let's have a look here. No, nothing of note there, uh, specifically. Uh, so let's head back to V1581 Signy. Um, and now let's have a look at our captured ship. So we have four in the foot class vessels. Um, which all need repairs. Um, I'm going to prioritize to focus, have them focus on getting the uh, their engines up first, as well as their weapons. Um, and we'll do the exact same thing for you. Engines need to come first in repairs. Um, you just have the engines that you need to repair, then you'll be fully operational. And then we have one file on the foot, which also needs to get its engines repaired. We'll have to either stay here for now or wait. Um, I am going to look at our troop transports. Should we not have... Um... Okay, so we'll have forces in about that long. So we're going to kind of wait here for our ships to get repaired. Um, what is our current ammunition situation in regards to the 5th Fleet? We have 63 Striker ASMs, Striker Short Range ASMs, we have a lot of torpedoes, so we should be fine in that regard, so I'm confident that we can stay here for now, um, we're just going to make sure we get everything landed uh, up properly. Um, new ship contact detected, two Warhorse class closing in at 12,408 uh, kilometers per second. Um, what is distance from, where the hell is 5th Fleet? I guess they're on top of the jump point. Yeah, they are on top of the jump point. So distance is 300 million kilometers. 
I'm going to wait until they get within closer range before you take any actions. Okay, they're attempting to flee. I don't like that. I'm going to set a waypoint here. Um, I also turned off waypoints, but I'm going to set a waypoint here. Uh, and I'm going to order torpedo bombers to launch. Um, I want, yeah, we're going to launch. How many torpedo bombers do you think we'll need? Three per? They're just warhorse vessels. They'll likely not be able to, um, to hit. So I'm going to do... I'm gonna send half. No, I'm gonna send eight. We'll do four per. So eight torpedoes for these guys. Um, I'm also going to detach a single growler, attach that to the torpedo squadron, and then I'm gonna tell the torpedo squadron to begin immediate movement towards the white new waypoint. Uh, waypoint 24. There we go. Hopefully we'll be able to intercept. They're gonna to attempt to flee. So I've got to be cognizant of that fact. We should hopefully be able to get an intercept uh, on them. Um, potentially, anyway. Okay, move to waypoint 25 as we search for them. Uh, move to waypoint 25 torpedoes. Uh, torpedo bombers. Okay, we found a bigger fleet than I expected. That is six ships. Total seven. We're going to need more torpedo bombers than, than what we have available to us right now. We'll tail them, and in the meantime, we will. Uh, I'm going to launch. Uh, oh, we have all of them? Oh, did I launch all of them? Well, that's actually a good thing. Okay, we're going to close distance then. Um, so, two war horses, two chomes, one shade out mapes. Okay, let me have a look at our, our database on our information regarding these vessels. Um, let's have a look here. Um, so, Chome, Sihund, Warhorse, Shade Out Mapes, uh, Weathered Mother. So, I think that that means that those are probably in the FUDs. The Warhorse is also probably in the FUDs. Those two are defensive vessels of some description. Let's take out their offensive power first. That's going to be the priority here. So, um, head towards contact. Head towards contact specifically. Um, and we are going to uh, go directly towards, as I said. We'll be able to catch them. We do move 6,000 kilometers per second faster. Closing distance. Okay, we are getting quite close now. We're probably about 9 million kilometers away. We're within res 1 range now. Two minutes. Here we go. Okay, so uh, let us launch torpedoes. We're going to launch individually. What do I think would be appropriate? Oh my god. Um, so we have four vessels we need to target. So we'll do six missiles per. Um, so I'll split the group into sections of six. So detach, detach, and detach. I'll have them all then join up with the first. Okay. And then prepare to... Okay, we have all torpedo squadrons now ready. First target is going to be Warhorse 005. Sign that to the fleet. Um, second target is going to be Warhose 006, sign that to the fleet. Next target is going to be Warhorse, uh, not Warhorse, but uh, Chome 027, assign that to subfleet. And the last target is Chome 028, we're going to assign that to the subfleet. Then going to form an open fire of the fleet, 
Um, so all weapons are now preparing to fire. Torpedoes are away. We have a 94% hit chance. And now I'm going to order for the torpedo squadron to begin immediate uh, procedures to head back to our own fleet. Here we go. Torpedoes on target. How many hits? We scored 18 out of 24 hits. It seems, appears that one missed and we five were damaged. We scored three penetrating hits on the Chrome 028, one penetrating hit on the 027, and two on the Warhorse 005. That is good. So we may have disabled. Okay, well, we slowed them at least. Yeah, so we've damaged them, but we were not able to get any confirmed kills on that. So we're going to now head back. They seem to be in retreat though, so that is good news at least. And we've uh, managed to separate a few of their vessels from the main pack, which is of course a valuable thing indeed. Uh, so let's just continue to head back here. Uh, do like five increments. All right, uh, first torpedo squadron heading back to the fleet now um, after a successful torpedo run. Again, these torpedoes are proving really successful. I mean, that is a 18 out of, uh, out of 24 hits. So we're looking at, you know, 80% uh, uh, hit rate, uh, realistically speaking here, which is significant when you think about it. Um, and these are not small warheads either. These are strength 36. So they have some significant armor that we're able to, to punch through. Um, Alright, uh, let's get the Torpedo Squadron now uh, landed and uh, fueled back up. So, detach, detach, detach. Then let's just throw all of these guys into the same Torpedo Squadron. And then I'm going to detach the Growler. And we're going to land onto the Mothership. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with these torpedo bombers. I will, I will say that. Okay, let's get the, uh, let's get the fleet back. Here we go. Okay, they've landed. So now we're going to wait around for a few hours. If they decide to come back, we'll hit them again with more torpedoes. Um, we have probably three salvos remaining of total. Uh, we need to hold this position though for as as best as we can here. Um, we're also managing to repair up quite a few of the damaged uh, vessels. Uh, the hope is that we can then use those vessels for now, and then eventually we can scrap them. Um, at least that's my thinking, anyway. Uh, I'm going to do... Yeah, just keep doing AI increments. We've got to be careful we don't get caught out here. Uh, but it seems like our torpedo bombers kind of scared them off to some degree, uh, which I would consider a good success. Um, that's, what we, that's exactly how the kind of engagement I want to take, you know. We have our naval uh, carrier group here. We spot enemies in the distance. We, uh, you know, sort out fires. And, you know, 100 million kilometers plus away, they and they can barely even see our carriers uh, we're able to strike and hit them that is the benefit that is the boon of the carriers um specifically so i i'm i'm, I'm uh, quite happy in that uh in that degree uh we're gonna do a one day increment now um we got information on the cherum class interesting let me have a look at that then uh ship classes cherum cherum class is a tanker so the Cherums are tankers. And you have some Sea Wiss. They have no armor. Okay, interesting. Interesting information. That will come in handy at some point or another. Uh, but yeah, well, kind of like right now, we're kind of waiting for repairs. And I'm also waiting for um, our naval vessel, or not our naval vessel, our troop transports to actually get here so that we can uh, move our fleet and try and retake the colony uh, when possible. Um, but we will see. Okay, let's do another one-day increment. 
Okay, if I have a look currently at the Natals, uh, where are they? So how's repairs coming first though, before we do that? Just need to get the two drives back. Just need to get the two drives back. Get the two uh, engines back. So it's just about the engines now at this point. So that's going to take quite a bit. Um, MSP. How much MSP do you start with? 64. So that would be... I'm not sure if they could get full repairs on those. Uh, what's the cost? Yeah, those costs are pretty damn high, aren't they? Um, 27 MSP. 27 MSP. Uh, what I might do then is you have plenty of MSP, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you do. Uh, again, I feel like every time we save, that just you know, causes issues. Um, I'm going to then decide to head you towards um, fleets. So you're going to go to here, and you're going to join and resupply that. Okay. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do as well... Uh, is where is our tank? I believe we'd had some tankers, uh, Captain Star. We're going to need to refuel tanker cardigan C. Uh, tanker cardigan C, C1. Yeah, you are damaged, but you can actually just kind of sit here as a stationary tanker. So jump through, okay? So yeah, jump through, and then you can join fifth fleet. Cool. So now that you've joined the fifth fleet, we can have you begin to refuel the fleet. Um, and then once that carrier gets back, we'll be good. I uh, just want to make sure that we're all topped up, and we also want to get a supply vessel topped up as well, so that we can continue our expedition into the system. Um, but yeah, we need to uh, get supplies to all of these vessels specifically. So three downrounds. Okay, there we go. So it's joined Baldwin 005. Hopefully that should mean you're now getting the MSP you need. So let's do an eight hour increment. There we go, you got the MSP. Detach. Uh, fleets go to Nafud 12. Join and resupply target fleet. There we go, so another eight hour increment. And that should now mean that you have resupplied uh, the Nafud. Not yet. You still need to wait a little bit to fully resupply. But there we go. Full resupply now with that vessel. And then we're just going to keep going down the line and we're going to get all these. So that they, that they can actually repair. Uh, that's why I'm doing this. Um, I want to make sure that uh, these guys can actually get their repaired for, or repaired up fully. Because we can seriously make use of these vessels. Um, okay, 100% MSP. Detach. Go to the last one. Uh, and then join and resupply target. Flee there. Very good. Okay, let's do another 8 hour increment. And hopefully that should now mean that we have full MSP. Yes, we do. So I'm going to then order the supply vessel to head back to 5th Fleet and join it. Uh, but yeah, there we go. They should all have the MSP they need now to begin full repairs. Now, the thing that I was actually interested in is going to be the Natals. Uh, we have 125 days until Natals, um, until Natals arrive, so quite a bit of time. How is ordnance production happening, by the way, in terms of our stockpiles? 180, we have 180 striker ASMs in production at the moment, um, and we're continuing to produce those. Those will be done by end of the year. So I'll probably get a one of the transports to move those missiles over specifically. So that yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, because I can't bring the fleet back uh, to to help with that. Okay, one day increments. So yeah, if we actually repair all their vessels and we use them, if we just destroy all the enemy versions of their of these specific classes, they'll only have short range point defense ships, and then we can just pick them off with beam weapons, uh, without much concern really. So let's do a fire of the increment now. Oh, I probably should say double those guys. Don't worry about it. That it's fine. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep doing one-day increments. 
as soon as we pick up a target, uh, we will uh, we will uh, deal with it. How are repairs coming as well, by the way? Like, why are you guys still not getting that repaired? Also, look at this armor. So that must, yeah, so that must be what happens when a warhead hits in. What I should really do is hit them with the, the torpedoes first and then send the normal missiles in. That's probably what I should do. Uh, yeah, come on. Let's get these repaired, boys. That's what we need. We need those repairs. And then we need to start invading that world which is going to be annoying because they would have built up fortification at this point which is always going to be a hindrance towards us ah <sighs> well what can you do just going to put this on auto turns now and just keep doing one day until our natals arrive that is what we need until they arrive we can't do anything really also, of course, waiting for the repairs, but that's going to take an indefinite amount of time. So we're nearly past September. Our missiles will finish in December. Um, so that is something to consider there. Um, but yeah, there's still a lot of ground force. I'm surprised I haven't landed any more, to be honest, onto that world. Okay, we're now in October. Okay, any repairs still? I'm still no repairs. Okay, how much longer on the fleet? Let's have a look. Uh, the third Natal. 90 days, so three months from now we'll be able to... Um, uh, be able to have all the forces, but they're currently carrying the Marine Division. Yeah, this marine division specifically. Um, but they're also going to be loading the 8th and 10th. But the 8th and 10th are... How big are they? Let's have a look. 10th is 150. So 8th is also going to be like 150, yeah. Why are you bigger? You have 4... The 10th has, should have four as well. Yeah, 150. And 69. This is 10,000. Oh, it's because you got a logistics one in here. That's why. Logistic battalion. Uh, put you over here then. Uh, and I will fix that. Uh, we need infantry battalions. Uh, don't really have those available, but it's fine. It's a little bit undersized, but we'll be okay. So that means that we have 270,000 tons. <sighs> We're carrying all of these guys, so I'm going to tell you to... Un so first off, when you get there, unload. Then you're going to load the 10th. Then you're going to load the 8th. Where is the 8th? Once you've loaded both of those, then you're going to head to S Signy, which will take you 90 days. So that's what you're going to do. Okay, let's continue on incrementing along here. So it's the 8th of October right now. So we're looking at probably January uh, for the invasion. Um, and I'm also going to try and get a shipment of missiles moved over if possible. Uh, to help continue to reinforce. We've got 333 strikers now. We should have a uh, missile logistics vessel. Yeah, here we are. Um, and you should be able, you should be able to carry, if I look at template, uh, A-Lodge, missile logistics, ordinance template. Let's say I just spam you with um, short-range strikers. Yeah, you should be able to carry all of them that we need. Going to have you load ordnance at Colony and then head to Signy. That'll take you 90 days as well. Um, and yeah, there we go. So once you are done, you'll be able to then load and bring that ordnance back over. Which is what I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, we're going to be here for probably 
quite a while, maybe a minute or so of uh, incrementing along here. Uh, we still not spot any further enemy vessels of any kind, which is interesting to think about. Um, they're probably at their jump point, but still, uh, what can you do? Uh, can we? Uh, God, these things take so long to repair. It's ridiculous. Um, I need to tug them out one by one, almost here. Um, nearly through October. Um, but yeah, we've got the, we're gonna have three hundred thirty more missiles that will be delivered. We'll also have all of the extra troops delivered, so that'll be two infantry divisions of around two hundred seventy kilotons. We'll land those on the planet, have them deal with the enemy, and then we will continue from there. Uh, oh crap! Fifth interceptor. I did I forget to land you? Honestly, we're just gonna. Uh, yeah, we're just going to forget that, that, that those guys exist. <laughs> we're just going to forget those guys exist, okay? Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it at all. Um, but yeah, so... I believe we're about 60 days now off. Um, that's the estimate anyway. About 60 days off before our troop transports as well as our missiles arrive to keep the resupply going. How have we still not repaired any of these? There's a 1.2% chance. All the made of fire control. Repair the bloody engines. What if I do like 5 second increments? Lots of like 30 second increments. Will that help? Hmm. Doesn't feel like it. Maybe we just can't repair the engines. I mean, we should have enough MSP on board. 637, and then I have a look at the foot, that's 100%. Yeah, you'd think you'd easily be able to do that. Hmm. Very strange. Very, very strange. We'll see. Um, okay, November now. So actually, we may be able to get them by the end of December. Probably. We'll see, though when we can actually get those troop transports moved over. Um, either way, we're going to be waiting here. Okay, we complete research is the Delta Shields, actually. That's really nice. Uh, Delta Shields, so that means that we can now get Gamma or Epsilon Shields. Uh, shield Generator Size is going to be important, though, as well. But Epsilon Shields, let's get that underway. That'll take three years. So if we have a look at our current Shield technology, that gives us Delta Shields. Um, then we get Epsilon... Epsilon shield. So that gives us a shield strength of 25 on the size 10, which means that that would be able to uh, repel a single lance hit um, at 500 tons. And then that would recharge in 375 seconds. If we get, we need to get better recharge. That's what we need. We need better recharge. Like we can scale those up, but recharge we need. So, I'm going to assign all these labs into that. Okay, we've got maximum shield generator size uh, increased, which is perfect. Let's go for even bigger. So, that'll be uh, 15. And then, let me have a look over at... Uh, shields, shield, shield, shield. So that'll increase that by that much, which will then give us strength 33. If I show next tech, oh, it doesn't do that, but so yeah, that does increase the recharge time, of course, but it's not that bad. 
does 360. That increases it by 100 tons, but then also increases the shield generator strength by, what is that, 30%? Yeah, so that increases by 30% of shields, which is pretty good, actually. Um, and then half that would be 180 seconds, right? So that would recharge, oh yeah, 180, like, like what, 180, 190? So, you know, we're starting to get closer to, to, to a place where I'd feel more comfortable fielding uh, shields on the battlefield with current uh, generation technologies and weapons. That's for sure, anyway. Uh, how much longer are we just going to be sitting here? Um... Still not repair these vessels, by the way, and that's just pissing me off. Uh, let me have a look. You are 45 days out. What is the Natal looking like? 41 days. So the shoe transports will arrive first. Another five day increment. So yeah, it looks like I was right. It's going to be around December, end of December, that we'll be uh, getting off our... Reinforcements, our troop transports. Ordnance factory complete on Earth. Uh, well, let's first of all order up some more ordnance then. Um, I'm going to order another 200 torpedoes to be built. And uh, we are getting, yeah, we got some sector commands, but I'm actually going to cancel those. I'm just going to keep building uh, ordnance factories. Let's build another 500. There we go. How's our mineral situation looking? It's all looking okay. Um, and that means we have 256 more missiles available right now. But yeah, we need to get more torpedoes. Those are being really, really effective for us. I think what we should be doing is trying to hit with the torpedoes and then fire the normal missiles after the torpedoes. Um, I think that should be the primary aim anyway. Um, okay, we're getting very close now. It's 27th of December, 2248. Going to be 2249 now. We should now have the troop transports coming through. Shouldn't we? Okay, we got a day more, so on the 7th of January. Good. Uh, I'm also going to wait five more days for the extra missiles. There we go. The extra missiles are now here. Um, and I'm going to get those missiles then loaded up into the fleet. I'm also going to um, detach that and uh, have you... Begin resupplying. Wait, do I not have a normal transfer system? Yeah, I do. Should be able to. Oh, have I not set it as a um, uh, what you call it as a missile maintenance missile? I've not set it as a collier. There we go. So load fleet ordnance. Wait eight hours. Wait a few hours anyway. And then we'll get all the loading in and then we'll move it from. Okay, let's have a look then. How much ordnance have we managed to load? Not a lot, but we are slowly depleting our stocks, I'm pretty sure. Because you have 404. Yeah, so I'll wait a day. Let's see how much ordinance goes down then. Okay, there we go. So I pretty much offloaded all the ordinance that we needed. Still got like 20, uh, 20 missiles. We'll uh, just offload those first. Okay, uh, so that should now mean that we have, yep, all the ammunition we need. So I'm going to detach you. You're going to go through back to the jump point and you're going to head back to Sol. Uh, same, uh, not the same with the other ones though. Okay, fifth fleet, head towards the inner planet and then troop transports, head towards the inner planet as well. 
Okay, here we go. So that'll take us six days, 17 days for Jew transports to move. So we're just going to go eight hour increments because the enemy could be literally anywhere at this point. Once we arrive at the planet, we'll begin the planetary invasion. Um, but yeah, fifthly, it's going to continue to move through now. Um, so far, we haven't detected any enemy ships, so, uh, but they could be lurking anywhere. Space is a big place. It's a big, big place. We need some faster shoot transports. I think that's going to be something that we need to actually look into at some point. Um, definitely, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, so we're three days now out, so we made half the trip. Two days out. Our true transport is going to be significantly further behind, of course. So, what can you do? Um, 13 hours to go. Okay, let's see if they've got any ships in orbit. That's my question. Do they have any, like, supporters? Anything of the sort. That's what we need to know. Okay, we are coming in. Still no detection of any enemy vessels yet. Okay, we're about to get eyes on the planet with our res 100s. Res 1s are about to go in. There we go, complete orders and we've arrived. All right, uh, let's do AR increments uh, and just try and get our tree transports moved over and ready. Here they come. We should be able to decimate these forces. Uh, we have significantly more uh, than our opponents do. Uh, like, significantly, significantly more. So, I'm not concerned in the slightest. Uh, but we should be able to get a pretty easy recapture here. And then we can move towards the hedge on point and keep them locked in. From that point, while we continue to colonize, resupply, and uh, put ammunition stockpiles onto these planets to prepare ourselves for further uh, expeditions. Five days out on the current troop transports to deliver the necessary ground forces to the ground. Okay, here we go. Four days out. We're getting very, very close, about 400 million kilometers now. We move about 40 million kilometers every eight hours, so... Okay, two days to go. One day. Okay, we have now pretty much entered the actual system. Well, the, planet, the planetary system, anyway. Okay, we have got weird orders and the towers are now on scene. Begin to orbital drop all ground units. Ground units orbital dropped. So that means that we now have two marine divisions currently on scene with... Yeah, so we have... We have two full marine divisions on scene right now. Um, I'm just going to make sure that field positions are set up correctly. So, field position, rear echelon, set for all formations with same template. Same with the regiments, we're also going to set them to rear echelon because we don't want them to be hit. Um, and then, for the rest of our forces, uh, I'm going to go on full, full frontline attack. 
just go, 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 go. All right, uh, let's do uh, let's do a few hour increments until we get to our first combat phase. Ooh, we already had one then, I guess. Uh, we lost 35 Marines, we killed 141 Infantry, uh, and we lost 20 HMG boys, but we managed to destroy quite a few ground units. Uh, let's continue incrementing through now. We should be able to wipe these guys out, I would hope, anyway. But they are going to be dug in now, which is always going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, due to us not being able to hit them as much as one may want. Um, we lost 39 marines, so they lost 140, yeah. So we're, we're trading well enough. Um, I'm just going to do automated 8-hour eight, eight increments now. Um, to just get through the enemy forces. As best as we can here. Um, but yeah, that fortification level is always going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, I will admit. Um, hopefully we'll start to get some breakthroughs which will help us in regards to this, but we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, we are, we should be ripping through them. You can see here, so they have 6 hours infantrymen. Um, we should start seeing that go down a lot more. Okay. So it looks like we lost some COs. We're fighting back, we're doing okay here. Um. And we're continuing to press the assault. Hopefully, once they get down to low enough, we should be able to commit breakthroughs into their lines. But uh, I'm not too sure on that. They're now down to about 5,000 infantry on their side. 243 heavy infantry. Uh, we destroyed another... Yeah, we're now, now below 5,000 tons of total force strength. 4,700 infantry remain, 593. Still no breakthroughs yet. They're holding their ground, even though they're against a vastly superior force in almost all regards. That's because we're only hit, we're shooting like 400 shots and we're hitting like 8 of them, uh, which is kind of the problem. Uh, 397 shots. And yeah, just continue to hit them through. We're getting to the point where we should start to see some breakthroughs, I would hope, anyway. Okay, what is... What are, like, what are the losses looking like? Yeah, we lose, like, 17 wings. We get, like, 140 of those guys. It's just... It, it just takes a while. Like, we're not losing really much, but it just, it just does take a while. There we go. There are the breakthroughs that we want to see. Those will really help us out now. Starting to get a lot more hits in, a lot better trades out now, and we should be able to finish off the enemy forces relatively quickly here. Um, 2,000 infantry of theirs remain, and now we're getting all the breakthroughs. So watch it drop. It should start dropping as we start to get the breakthroughs in. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Enemy contact. Enemy contact. Enemy contact. Enemy contact. We lost the contacts, but there are enemy vessels out there. My question is, is how are these guys not repaired yet? There has to be a bug regarding this. There's no way. Repair chance time. 3600. What if I change that to uh, 200? Okay, so in like a thousand. They should have plenty of time to repair. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Auto queue. Remove. 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 Auto queue. Move, remove, and then auto queue, and then remove, remove, and auto queue. We'll see. I mean, if they approach, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem because we can't kind of combine the fleet together. 
is kind of an issue because they've all lost their engines and they also won't have very good hit rates, which is another problem. Okay, well, here come the enemy. Uh, I'm going to tell that tanker to get the hell out of here, though. Go through back to Captain Star. Um, the foot. You're going to need to do something, man. Lost contacts again. They're moving away. I'm not sure why. Weird behavior from the AI here. Okay, now they're moving in again. Okay, so they're just moving back and forth. Very odd. Very, very, very odd. Hmm, what's the distance? It's about 2 billion kilometers, right? Yeah, there's no way we could send a fleet or a fire squadron over. Could we, though? Let me have a look. We have the Sussexes, 322,000 liters. So we have about 600,000 liters of fuel. Okay. Now, the torpedo squadrons, those use 58,000 liters. So if I bring up a calculator really quicker, 58 times, oh yeah, 58, 58 times 24, oh God's sakes. <laughs> Why is the calculator being so stupid? 58 times 24, 1.3 million liters of fuel, okay, if, I, if I'm correct here. So that would cover half fuel. What is total? Total range, 2 billion kilometers. So they would be able to cause 2 billion kilometers away. That would give them 1.5 billion kilometers total range. Too much fuel. It's too much. You won't be able to do it. 1.5 billion kilometers. What position would we need to get the fleet to? There. About there. We can do it. I'm going to leave behind um, two Asia C class vessels just just for the uh, to keep an eye out. Um, and then I'm going to order fifth fleet. So what would that be from this position? So just before survey location one. We're going to do a long range attack. That's what we're doing. So waypoints. 26. And they don't know that we're moving either, but we, uh, yeah, they are moving back and forth, which is of concern. And it will take quite a while for our fighters to get there. But if they do get there, it could be very advantageous towards us. That'll take us. Two days to close about 800 million kilometers worth of distance before we can then launch fighters. Right now, the enemy is kind of being weird. I'm not sure why they act like this all the time. But what can you do? Um, but we should be able to finish off occupying uh, the planet. Uh, liberating it, anyway. Uh, we'll have to uh, have to see though. So we're about yeah, we're about uh, two days exactly off now. So I'm just going to wait. Now to just do one of the increments. I the problem is staying on. There we are. We're breaking through them now. That should lead to the annihilation of all of their remaining forces. Uh, yeah. And that's another breakthrough. <sighs> come on, come on, come on.
So that means that we are 32 hours out. We should be now 32 hours out for our fleet. And then it's going to be a lot longer uh, for... It's going to be even longer for the uh, torpedo bombers to get here. But if we do this, this will be the longest ranged torpedo strike in history. Um, like... In, in all of our, our, of our game uh, time, anyway. I think we should be able to relatively easily destroy most of these vessels. That's a lot of breakthroughs. <laughs> should... Okay, so 18 hours out, so we've got to hit this button 18 more times before our fleet arrives. At which point we're going to launch the torpedo bombers as well as the Sussex Spaceborne fuel craft. And we're going to try... The Sussex will ditch the torpedo bombers about halfway in and then move out from that point. More breakthroughs occurring. I'm kind of slowing through the infantry at the moment. I think we check that right now. Uh, well, what kind of damage are we doing to them? Yeah, we're killing like 283 infantry. They're killing like one dude. So that's pretty good for us. Uh, one day in common. Let's continue it on. Okay. How much longer? Six hours. Three hours. Two hours. One hour. 20 minutes. Okay, we've arrived. Commence launch. Two spaceborne fuel crafts. And the entire torpedo squadron. And then I need to get the spaceborne. Where the hell are they? Fifth fleet, zero, zero, 002, fifth fleet, okay. Go in. Torpedo bombers. Auto refuel. Oh, that's the problem. We haven't got that. The problem is they don't get the same speed, so the fuel won't actually go for as long a distance. So I'm going to have to detach the Sussexes and have them head towards the jump point. And then about halfway in. So this is about 2 billion kilometers distance. Yeah, 1.4. So about 700 million. So about waypoint 27, uh, waypoint 27, me too, uh, which will take two days. Um, at waypoint 27, they'll act as a refueling point, basically. Um, and then I'm going to have the torpedo bombers head towards waypoint 27 as well. I'll take you 14 hours. I also need to halt. The uh, there we go. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave the episode off, though, guys. Um, as we prepare to do the longest range torpedo strike ever, but um, it's been really, really good. And th thanks for all the support as well, it's been massive, especially with the new series coming out. Please keep giving it. it, it just gives me so much more motivation to keep getting these episodes out. I'll see you guys next time. Please, most like, comment, subscribe, it really does help everyone out. And special thanks to members Alter Ego 1101, King Stroza, Louis Neto, Impassive 9001, Gravmania, Petit Renito, Fishik, Alex Roberts, Doodle SM, Cliff S, Death himself, and a big special thanks to Zyven as the new tier, the new YouTube tier console rank. Um, big boy Zyven over there. Bye guys, thanks for all the support. It really does mean a lot.